Thanks for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley. And new fines for pharmaceutical companies that raised drug prices faster than the rate of inflation. The White House making that announcement today. And Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer is live at the White House. Kelly, how will this help people who've already paid those higher prices? Hey, Nicole, well, as soon as next month, seniors could be paying less on 27 prescription drugs. Discounts that will be paid for by the fines levied on these drug makers. The White House saying that seniors can expect their out-of-pocket expenses to decrease by $2 to nearly $400 per dose. Today, President Biden touting his efforts to lower the cost of prescription drugs for Americans. Let's protect the lower prescription drug costs for everyone. The administration today taking aim at the nation's largest pharmaceutical companies hitting them with fines for raising prices on drugs faster than inflation for people with Medicare. This as the price for drugs keeps going up. More than one third of Americans say they haven't filled their prescriptions due to cost alone. You name the drug you have to take and I can take you to France and get it to a hell of a lot cheaper to Canada, England, throughout Europe. It's, it's not fair. Today, Pharma, representing the nation's biggest drug manufacturers, responding to the president, saying that 95 percent of Medicare drugs are not subject to the fine and, quote, the administration continues to spin a false narrative to score political points. Some of the most expensive brand name drugs, all for treating various types of arthritis, Enbriol, Cosentix and Humira topping the list, cash prices averaging 9000 per month. In the last decade, the price set by the manufacturer increased by 138 percent. The high cost of drugs driving consumers away, with more than 2 million Americans a year traveling outside the U.S., where they can expect to pay a lot less to get the medications they need. In Mexico, the gap is noticeable. U.S. drug prices are 170 percent more than prices over the southern border. Juliet Kubansky, who studies the financial burden on Medicare recipients, says the cost is reaching a breaking point. The new drugs that come to market come to market with higher prices. And so it just sort of creates this escalating problem. You know, that seems unsustainable both to patients, but also as a society. And the White House says more than 1,000 prescription drugs increased faster than inflation in 2021. The Biden administration saying that they hope with this effort it will deter other drug companies from hiking prices. Nicole? Yeah, we certainly hope so. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.